All right, what's going on, guys? G-Dog Casey here, bringing you some more Out of the Park Baseball 17. Let's go ahead and sim this off day today. We have no games. Uh, we'll probably get a little bit of mail here with a report on the Boston Red Sox and see how they're doing. All right, we have a three-game series against the Sox kicking off today. Here's my report on the opponent. <clears throat> Too early to comment. Yeah, I guess so. Stroman did not have a good go at it. Are we really starting with Stroman? Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. Hold on, let's go back, though. Take a quick look. Yeah, Stroman had a rough start, but he still gives us our best chance to win. All of our starters not doing too well, except for maybe R.A. Dickey. He's going to be facing off against David Price. So oh, shit. And he's got 6.75 ERA. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, that's all a given. Let's go ahead and get into it. No, let's not finish today. I've accidentally simmed through games like that before, but no, we'll do this. I still have to set up my lineup beforehand. I forgot to do that. Eventually, I will get it all sorted, but for now, it's not a big deal. All right, we're going to lead off with Pilar. I kind of like the way the lineup has been set. You know what? I'm going to give Donaldson, though, some more chances with runners on. I'm going to let him bat third. I'm going to put too low. Up second. No, not Russell Martin. Too low. Because he's hitting okay. Pilar really isn't doing all that great, to be honest. And I'm probably going to move him out of the number one spot soon. But I'll leave him there for a bit. Edwin is going to be... Hmm. I guess I'm going to just drop Edwin. Sorry about that noise if you heard that. Fucking Windows 10. Um... What am I going to do here? I kind of feel like just mixing it up a bit, but I feel like it's blasphemy having Edwin outside of the top four. He's got the lowest average, though, out of everyone, so... Well, besides Saunders, but he's staying back. Yeah, all right, well, we'll put Edwin number f five, Russell Martin six. Yeah, we'll keep it like this, and we'll just see how it goes. Um, in relief... Aaron Sanchez is tired, so we won't be using him, but we have some of our other guys. All right, let's go ahead and start. We're in Toronto this time. Season opener for Toronto. As we go ahead with Marcus Stroman, going to be pitching to Hanley Ramirez to kick things off. Welcome to Rogers Center. Both teams meet for the first time. The roof is closed because it's raining out. All right, let's get that ERA down, Stroman. First batter's going to pop this one up to pretty deep left, and it's going to be a home run to kick off the game. That is not how you get your ERA down, and that is not how we wanted to start this game. Brutal. Hanley Ramirez, that was his first RBI. That was his first base hit. He was 0 for 14 to kick off the season, and that is how he starts off against us. <coughs> Ridiculous. David Murphy is going to single up the se up center field as well. This is not a good start. Holy shit. David Ortiz now. He's going to hit it to right field. Looks like Bautista should be able to make it. That was still pretty... Still hit pretty hard, though. Jeez. Xander Bogiertz is going to get another base hit to left field. Stroman is not starting this game off too well. Let's go ahead and take a look. As ratings, he's got high ratings, sort of. His stuff isn't very high. I don't understand why this guy has four stars when his stats don't really look all that good, but he has just not started off well with one out. Another base hit. Is this guy going to try to score? He's running home. This should be an out. Oh my god, he beats the throw. Uh, we got a 2 nothing deficit already with only one out right now. Strowman is just getting slammed to pieces here. Another run's going to score on the sack hit. And now we have Brock Holt, who's going to walk as well. And this is just a terrible start. Finally, going to get that out from Donaldson. And that's going to be a 3 nothing lead for Boston <coughs> to kick off the game. Let's see if our offense can get anything going. We're going up against Steven Wright. Pilar will ground out. We'll take a look at Stephen Wright here. He's a pretty bad starting pitcher, to be honest. So it's about time, I think, for the Blue Jays' offense to kick off here. But it doesn't look like that's happening so far. As Donaldson's going to round off the inning. Looks like he's going to drive this one to left. But 
Oh, sorry guys. Um, yeah, he's going to fly out as well. So, Strowman is going to kick off the second inning with a strikeout. And now we're already back to the to the uh, leadoff hitter for Boston. Here we go, getting it out. And this time it looks like things go much better for Strowman as he manages to hold the Sox without getting a hit. Three up, three down. And now it's up to Jose Bautista to lead off. He's going to strike out. Then we have Edwin who is going to ground to the second baseman. And third up, Russell Martin is going to ground to the third baseman. So this one-star pitcher is keeping us hitless here in the first two innings. Meanwhile, our four-star pitcher has given up three earned runs in the first inning. Already at almost 40 pitches here. He gives up another base hit to David Ortiz. At least this guy won't be rounding too many bases as we go for... We're going to go into double play depth, actually. Because I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get this double play. Or he's going to pop it up to center field. Okay, we'll go back to double play depth and we'll try again here to end this inning. And it looks like we should do it. Yes, double play. Alright. The fans are loving it. So that was another base hit that inning, but it wasn't too bad. This pitch was only at 19 pitches. And Chris Colabello is going to be grounding out here. This is just ridiculous. Our offense is really not doing what it should here. Michael Saunders getting the walk. And, I mean, I don't really expect much out of Darwin Barney here. But count goes 3-1. Okay, for some reason they... Uh, oh, did I... Maybe I clicked on take pitch there by accident. And then he grounds into a double play to end the inning. Look at that. No way we can get anything going here. Marcus Stroman, 50 pitches already. Kicking off the fourth inning. Giving up another leadoff base hit. Alright, Brock Holt is going to hit to second base. Looks like it's going to be a double play. Alright, well done. The defense is still playing pretty well. Jackie Bradley Jr. is going to get a base hit here. It's going to go off the wall for at least a double. Ooh, that throw comes in pretty hot, but... Yeah, that is a double. Okay. Two outs, though. Stroman... Going to get that strikeout on three pitches. Nicely done. Okay. End of threat. Seven base hits to zero so far. Kevin Pillar coming up for the second time of the game in the fourth inning here. He's going to hit it straight to center field for a pop out. Now it's going to be Tulowitzki who's going to hit it to almost the exact same place. And then lastly, Josh Donaldson here is going to take a walk. All right, that's good because that means Bautista is up to the plate. What can he do? Wild pitch. That's going to send Donaldson over to second base. Also looks like the count is going to be two balls and one strike. Or no, one ball and no strikes. All right, so it doesn't really matter. It actually means Bautista is going to strike out and end the inning. Well done. Stroman, I think, can go at least one more inning here. we got to get at least five out of him. And there's another leadoff base hit, as usual. Eight hits to nothing right now. David Murphy. All right. Oh, well, why wasn't that a double play? What are you doing? I guess it just wasn't going to be possible. All right. David Ortiz now with a runner in scoring position. He's going to strike out. And Stroman is getting close to the end of his life here. But he does get another strikeout to end the inning. All right. We're going to lead off with Edwin here. Which is not something we really look for. He's going to take a walk, though. Third walk for right. This hitter is... this. Okay, this one-star pitcher is throwing a no-hitter right now. Come on, Russell Martin. Let's get... Let's get something on the board. Here we go. First base hit. It's actually going to send Edwin all the way to third. And that's where it is going to stop. First hit of the ballgame for the Blue Jays. That's just ridiculous. Chris Colabello batting over 300 right now. He could drive in a run. He's going to pop it pretty high up. This should at least cash in the uh, sacrifice fly. And yes, it will. So finally, getting a run on the board here. Thanks to Chris Colabello and Russell Martin. Michael Saunders now also batting pretty well for the bottom of the lineup. But this time he's going to strike out. Uh, so that's going to leave Darwin Barney with two outs. We do still have a runner in scoring position. So a base hit here could make something happen. Although Russell Martin's not very fast. This is going to be a ground out to third, though. And that's going to end the inning. Okay. Well, at least next inning we can start off at the top of our order. Marcus Stroman's at 80 pitches. So I'm going to let him pitch here, but he's going to be on a very short leash. 
Bautista's not even moving for it. He knows what's going on. Another home run coming out of the Red Sox. Chris B. Young. All right, I said it was going to be a short leash, so I guess that's what I mean by that. Can't use Brett Cecil. Can't use Aaron Sanchez. We need someone who's got some stamina. Steve Delabar. He hasn't even got a chance yet. Let's throw him in since who really cares at this point? We're losing pretty bad. <clears throat> Obviously, we want to hold the Sox to no more runs, but who knows. Brock Holt now after the walk. This guy's going to try to steal second. He's going to be gunned down easily. <clears throat> nice throw for Muscle Martin. And then he just goes ahead and walks the next batter. All right, so Jackie Bradley Jr. up now. He's one for two with a double. He's going to strike out. And how much stamina does our pitcher have? 12. Okay, so he can probably only go one inning. As we hit this guy, bring up Hanley, or Hanley Marie, Mar Ramirez. This guy's going to hit to shortstop, and that's going to be a force out. And that's going to end the inning. So we're not entirely out of this game yet, but it's not looking good. As Kevin Pillar are going to be leading off here, try to get on base. Maybe he can beat up this throw. Absolutely not. Pilar is not doing well as leadoff. Troy Tulowitzki now. He is going to pop up to the catcher. And again, we got the catcher running all the way out there. Nicely done by him. And Josh Donaldson is going to actually smash this one to the gap. No, it's going to be out. Liner, nice play from the left fielder. And that's going to put the Jays away once again. So Steve Delabar, I'm not sure I should keep him in here. Who do we got, though? Man, we're, we have a, a bit of a pitcher problem. We're going to have to throw in Aaron Loop. Where are we? We're only in the seventh, too. Shit. Loop has even less stamina, so... This is going to be a pop-up to center field. Pilar will grab that one. Now David Ortiz against Aaron Loop. It's going to be a grounder to the second baseman. And lastly, Xander Bogarts, or Bogiarts. He's going to ground out to Josh Donaldson. All right. So we get out of that inning. <coughs> only one base hit this whole game. They still have this one-star pitcher in here. Do so you see the mismatch? Like, our pitcher was four stars, and this is what we get up here. Whereas their one-star pitcher is just dominating us. I can't get over that right now. He strikes out Jose Bautista on three pitches. Edwin Encarnacion strikes out as well. Oh, my God. What is going on here? Russell Martin, he's the strikeout master. <laughs> Like, I understand I'm being a little bit salty here, but, I mean, you guys are watching this, right? Just ridiculous. How many pitches does he have right now? Eight pitches? All right, we're going to try to get a second inning out of him, or at least an, e an extra couple outs. One hitter right now, that pitcher's pitching. Get that out. Dustin Pedroia is going to get a base hit here. Looks like this one's going to get past the left fielder. At least a triple. He's gone out of the stadium to get that one. And that's going to be a double. Alright, Brock Holt. Alright, he's going to strike out. That's not bad. Jackie Bradley Jr. here to end the inning for Aaron Loop. And he gets him. Alright. Lots of strikeouts this game. Although the Sox still put up 10 hits on us. Okay. He's going for his 8th inning here. Let's at least try to get something on him here in the end of the game. Nope. Colabello is going to ground out. Oh, here we go. Michael Saunders hitting this one deep over the right field. Wall and player and outfielder and all that jazz. And he's going to put another run on the board here for the Jays. And they're leaving him in. All right, Darwin Barney now. It's your turn. No, he's <laughs> going to roll a little tapper to the pitcher. Okay, Kevin Pillar, can you start a rally here with two outs? Uh, he's going to get a base hit. He'll get on board. We're only down by two here. So this is actually pretty big. Finally, a new pitcher comes in. And this guy is actually three stars. Alright, we're going to do a hit and run here. And Tulo just strikes it out, so. Let's bring in Drew Storen. He's been doing pretty well so far.
Uh, he blew that one game, though, not long ago. Oh, my God. Another home run? Really? Christian Vasquez is going to put up another run on the Jays here, just making it that much harder. Hanley, Hanley Ramirez is going to pop this one up to second base. David Murphy is going to get another base hit. This is just something else, man. Pretty frustrating game, to be honest, when we have like this... Okay, we get the strikeout. Oh, and the throwout. All right, double play. Can't really complain too much about that. But they do add another run. So now it's the bottom of the ninth. It's our last chance. But look at our lineup here. Donaldson, Bautista, and Encarnacion. They can each hit a solo home run here against Craig Kimbrell, who is a four and a half star, 100 stuff rated closer for Boston. Holy shit, this guy's really good. He's given up any runs yet. This uh, Oh, he's got a bad ERA. He only pitched for one out, and he gave up an earned run. So, all right, that's looking good for us. Donaldson, let's go. Oh, he's going to take that walk. Okay. All right, Bautista hitting 222 right now. That's very bad. He's going to go ahead and pop it up to deep center field. It is on the warning track, but that's going to be an out. All right, Edwin, up to you now, batting 176. Ah, fuck, he's going to strike out. So now it's all on Russell Martin. With Josh Donaldson on. It's going to be a wild pitch. We'll get Donaldson over to second. All right, let's see if that'll rattle him a little bit. Maybe we can get a base hit here. Oh, Martin, he's going to blast this one to the gap. It's going to go over the wall for a two-run shot in the bottom of the ninth inning. Boston still has a one-run lead. We have Chris Colabello. Here with everything hanging on him for this game. They actually brought in a new pitcher who's also four and a half star relief pitcher. Oh my god. Chris Colabello. Well, we went for it. At least we made things interesting in the bottom of the ninth. That was an incredibly frustrating game to play in terms of watching their one-star pitcher just completely demolish us and our four-star pitcher just completely shit in the bed. But, to be fair, Boston's uh, closer, Kimbrell, is very highly rated. He gave up two more earned runs in that game, and his ERA is just going to be ridiculously high. Boston and Toronto duked it out at the Rogers Center, and the Red Sox came out victorious. Boston Red Sox starter Stephen Wright was in fine form against the Toronto Blue Jays at Rogers Center, leading his team to a 5-4 win. The loss lowers Toronto record to 2-3. Christian Vasquez was a key contributor to the win, and actually that's very true. That one solo shot made the difference there in the top of the ninth, too. Ugh. In the top of the ninth, with no one out, the light-hitting catcher stroked a home run to left. He went 1-3 for three with a home run and was hit by a pitch. Honestly, I'm not frustrated, said Toronto manager Casey Olsen. The effort was great. Are you kidding me? This is absolutely a misquote. I was talking about how I was frustrated the entire fucking game. Oh my god. Drew Soren gives up another earned run as well. Not a good game. Not a good game. Let's see if we got ourselves any mail here. Oh, things are mixing up here. We got Marco Estrada going to get his first start in the next game. Okay, that's going to do it, guys. So thanks very much for watching. Sorry about the frustrating game there. I get a little salty, but I know it's a game, and I'm totally fine. I'm not fine, though, with being 30th ranked out of 30 in the power ranking. That's a little ridiculous, but oh well, we'll see if we can turn this around. It's still incredibly early in the season. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.